Hey guys, what up? It's Frank from Street Drum Corps checking in. Wanted to say what up. We we're gonna take some questions from you guys right now. What do you got? Bring it. Bring me some questions. So the name of the song is Knock Me Out, which is the first song that we wrote um, about two years ago when we actually started to become a, a band besides just three drummers, when we added vocals, guitar, bass, horns, and we kind of came to this common ground where we were really, really into bands that had lots of drummers and percussion, and Adam Ant was one of the uh, biggest inspirations to when we started writing this new process of taking the band to a next level and growing from just three drummers. And uh, Knock Me Out was the first song we wrote, and coincidentally, it wound up being the first song that got placements, our e-single, not our real official radio single, but our like e-single for the record, um, toured all over the world performing that song. and. Um, the song has just got placements in the new Disney movie Sorcerer's Apprentice, Major League Baseball, which is really cool because it's the first song we wrote as a band, and uh, it's cool to see it developing now. And it brings us to the public record, which we said, you know what, this song is out, people know it. We've been hearing it the way we've been doing it for two years, so we're like, let's let the world add what they want to hear, what they're hearing, interpretation when they hear it and all that. So we want people to just remix it add whatever they want to add to it and let's take Knock Me Out to the next level with thepublicrecord.com. Uh, Knock Me Out was produced by Howard Benson who's producing our all song record uh, and it was written by Street Drum Corps with our songwriting partner David Sunshine and uh, two years ago we wrote that song in literally West Hollywood in an, an apartment and then it went to a studio where we demoed it. Then it went to another studio and got demoed. And it was actually the first song we recorded with Howard Benson in a huge Hollywood studio. And we had real horns on it. We had a horn player come down and rip some horns on it. Um, it was from like one of the big symphonies. Um, and it's a really fun song. It's got tons of tribal drumming and all that on it. So it's been, it really represents what Street Drum Corps is, that song. If I could ever pick a song, what represents us. And uh, yeah, knock me out. Working with Howard Benson was incredible. Um, he was really passionate about it, and we drive on passion and how passionate people are about the project, and he really got it, and, and really got the drums, which is a hard thing, especially in the pop world, where people just think about choruses and lyrics and all that, and Howard really got the drumming aspect of it, and we literally went in the studio for a week with every kind of percussion instrument, from timpanis to um, Mack truck stacks, you know, on, on Mack trucks, and we got weird and freaky, and, and it knocked me out. This, this, uh, one of the coolest things we did with Howard was uh, what you think is a hand clap in the song. It's two pieces of two by fours smashing together, um, which is a really cool thing. So there's a lot of trash on that song. The stuff that you think is just like a keyboard sample, whatever. It is. We made all that stuff, and it's a really cool, uh, cool track percussion wise. We found Interscope. Interscope didn't find us, which is really cool. When we we had done indie records and toured the world, and we were kind of as far as we can go in that world and we said you know we want to go next level and uh, Jimmy Iovine has been someone that we've wanted to work with since day one just what he did with the Pussycat Dolls them being an avant-garde kind of burlesque show and they have a big Vegas show now and big successful records we were like Jimmy would get it and we knew David Sunshine who was a songwriting partner he used to be an a &R guy at Interscope he got us a meeting Jimmy totally got it and the partnership's been amazing we've been with them for about three years now and uh, they're letting us make a double album one all drums and one you know full band record um, so it's been really really cool to uh, again we were just like we want to go to Jimmy let's find a way to get to him we got with him and he he got it and uh, here we are people starting out my best advice is whatever you have in your mind as crazy as you think it is just do it until it happens because Life, music, everything, whatever your goals are, it's not a mystery, it's not some, some, you have to know somebody, you have to have the hit song, whatever it is, just believe in yourself and believe in music and it'll really happen and I think we're a good example of that. I mean, three guys just beating on buckets, you know, how far we've come just because we do what we want to do and don't listen to what you're supposed to do and let's play it safe, it's like it's all about pure emotion and love and it's all from the heart.